what I want to do is I want to compare neat video against Final Cut Pro's noise reduction and if it's necessary to buy neat video for professional use or if you can stick to what Final Cut Pro offers now. All right, let's jump right into it. You can find Final Cut Pro's noise reduction tool right under the built-in effects. Just drag and drop it onto your clip and you're good to go. You can even play around with the intensity of this tool. You can choose between four levels of noise reduction and you can choose between seven levels of sharpening your clip. But I would not recommend you to use the sharpening that much because, yeah, it always kind of sucks. And now let's get to the competitor. Neat Video costs around 70 to 100 euros for the pro version, which even supports 4K. Neat Video has its own control window, which has a lot of information on it. The good thing is, you can choose what area should be used for analyzing the noise level. You have really precise settings to control how the tool applies to your shot. You can control all by percentage and you have a lot more options to play with the sharpening. We compare the different intensities of Final Cut Pro's noise reduction applied to this shot. On the left you see the lowest intensity and on the right the highest. Now let's compare the original shot to the one with highest noise reduction. It really doesn't look that bad anymore. And now the final comparison. Final Cut Pro's noise reduction versus neat videos. First, I could say it's not any difference at all, but if we zoom in 400%, I can definitely see the difference. Now, just in addition to the previous comparison, I just want to see how both tools can handle low noise problems in this video for example. And yeah, both clearly show they can handle it very well. Very interesting results, so I think you should make your own decision, judge for yourself because it's very hard to tell if you really need to have the um, perfect noise reduction tool from Neat Video or if you just need the built-in tool from Final Cut Pro. So if you are a traveler for example, you travel a lot, do travel films and stuff, you, you're gonna counter bad lighting situations for sure. And in this case you definitely need a good noise reduction tool. Therefore I would recommend you in this case to get the better noise reduction tool because if you can have better footage then go for the better one always and yeah if you like to see where those three scenes come from have a look on this side next to my face where my beautiful pet's hat is right now the video of my london trip will, will appear it's pretty pretty nice well yeah that's what my mom said and uh, <laughs> i think that's nice too See you next time, goodbye.